another day a new creation okay so we're gonna get started here's the palette let's just talk about the packaging first it says sulu the sulu um by juvia's the packaging looks like this it's kind of like holographic right here on the sides and it is white so it i don't know it might get dirty fast but you could just wipe it down looking at this palette it doesn't come with the transition color so i'm gonna have to use one from another palette to set my uh eyeshadow primer which i already set i'm not sure of the look i'm creating or going for to be honest um but it do this palette does contain a lot of colors like um like a to create a summery look so i'm, I'm gonna try to incorporate as many colors as i can that way you guys can get an idea of how they all work and look but yeah let's get started okay yeah i'm gonna start off with a little bit of brown shade You don't have to do it perfectly because we're gonna go back with the bigger blending brush and to blend everything out. So I'm doing my left eye. So far, so good, guys. So far, all the reviews I've been hearing about pigmentation and quality for this video. With the bigger, bigger blending brush, I'm gonna go. With no product on the brush, I'm gonna go back and forth and just blend it out so it's not that harsh. Yeah, this color is definitely pigmented because I just dab my my um brush lightly on the pan and it's like hella showing on my eyes. Okay, so that's the first color. Now we're gonna go with this orange shade. It's like a bright carrot orange. Do you guys see that? It's so bright. Um, with the smaller blending brush, because I wanna be able to control it more, I'm gonna take this shade. Ooh, this one has a little bit of fallout. Yikes. Do you guys see that? Right there. It has a little bit of follow up on that that much. So we're going for a sunset look. That's why it's looking like that. Don't forget to dab your brush to get the oh shit. <laughs> Don't forget to dab your brush that way all the excess is um off your brush and you don't have that much fallout on your face especially if you already did your face like I did I already did my face I don't know some people like to do it after their eyeshadows but I love doing my face before my eyeshadow um I just finished blending the brown shade and the orange shade together and it created this like burnt burnt orange look don't worry about the edges just what I'm doing is just putting it upwards and then we're gonna clean it at the end with um some concealer with a smaller blending brush I'm gonna take this pink shade right there and that's just going on the outside of our crease right here. I'm liking it so far. Like I said, I'm just going with it as I'm recording. I don't have, I didn't plan out a look. I just plan out yellow and purple, but I'm like, it's so many other shades in the palette. And this is a review slash tutorial, so I'm like, let me just go for it. Uh, like a sunset vibe. Like okay, 
Okay, back to my medium size blending um blending brush. Oh, I'm just gonna blend the pink with the orange shade and the brown shade together. <laughs> Okay, now we're getting to the, the fun part. <laughs> With the flat brush, a clean flat brush, we're going to take this yellow shade right there. Okay, so we're going to put it right in our inner corner, but not to an inner corner because I want to add a different color right there. So, towards the middle of our eyelid, that's how I would describe it. On our eyelids, it's not really showing up that much. I don't know if you guys could see. On the pan, it's like lemon, literally lemon yellow. But on our eyelids, it's not really showing up. It's probably, it is pigmented. So it's probably one of those shades you gotta build up. So. So what I'm doing so I don't have that much fall on my face, I'm literally like patting the color in and then just softly moving my brush around so I could actually like insert and pat the color instead of just brushing it around then you have a little fall on your face. So I got some color and now I'm going to do my other eye. creating our sunset look I'm gonna take this beautiful purple color that matches my backdrop yes ma'am it sure do it is so pretty we just putting down the outer oh shit look at this fallout you guys see that okay we just gonna Take a big ass brush and just dust most of that shit off. Oh my gosh, it's not coming off. Okay, 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 okay. Don't freak out, don't freak out, guys. Don't freak out. So let's take a wipe and just dab. Dab and grab, dab and grab. It was actually a lot of fallout. I ain't even gonna front. Don't forget to dab off your brush, tap off your brush. So we creating like a little wing with this thing. So I'm just swiping the color upwards to create like a, a wing. So that's real pretty. So I blended out the purple already, created my wing with the purple. Now I'm gonna do a cut crease um, right here, partial of my eye, only because I want the yellow to be more vibrant and I don't like how, it, it's, it's, it's showing up. So if you guys wanna do, just leave it at this without the cut crease, you can do that. But I want mine to be uh, more vibrant and I wanna do a, a half cut crease so it's not gonna be the whole lid, it's just gonna be half. You guys will see in a minute. I'm gonna take a tiny brush. It's just a flat, tiny brush that looks like that. And I'll have to use my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm not digging in my nose, I'm just scratching it, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take my little brush and dig in it just to get some of the, some of the product. I'm gonna look down and do a step. I can do it halfway. So it's looking a little crack right right now, but we're gonna fix that. So, okay, we placed the yellow just to direct us work to cut a crease. So once you see the purple begin, that's where you you stop cut. Uh, that's where you stop cutting the crease. That's what we have so far. Shit looks kind of cray cray right now, but that's where we're gonna place our yellow shade. So 
there she is. We're gonna do the same thing to the uh, to our other eye. Okay, so we just cut the crease right now. You see the little speck of concealer on the purple side. The way you can fix that is just grab the same brush you used for the purple, which was a flat brush. You take the purple shade and just add a little bit more of that purple to the to the um. Let me get my mirror to where the purple is set. I'm gonna do the same to my other eye. Just add some more purple. Now we're gonna add the yellow shade, flat brush. We're gonna take the yellow shade again. And remember, we're patting the color in. We're not like blending the color in. We're not doing swipe motions, we're patting. And I'm just tucking my brush in the edges so the crease could be clean. Now I'm taking my glitter glue, glitter primer by NYX, and a flat angle brush. And I'm gonna create a line. And the line is gonna go right here, right before the pink and the purple start. We're gonna try at least, okay? Bear with me. I'm just gonna follow my where the crease, where I cut the crease. So I set my primer down with the same brush. The glitter I'm using is the shade 08. That's that for me. Browns, Browns is by NYX. make it thin or thick I was going more for uh, in between I didn't want it too thin because I wanted the glitter to show so that's why I went a little bit in between not too thick but not too thin so that's what you get now we're gonna work on the other eye so now I'm taking the glitter And dabbing the excess because you don't want it to fall on your face. That will be hell of that. Okay, so now I'm going in with the glitter. I'm sorry you guys hear my kids in the background. I'm trying to hurry up because it's around dinner time. See? And I need to go cook dinner for them, so I'm trying to hurry up. So we're not putting the glitter all the way to the outer corner we're just leaving it right where the yellow shade is at so now that that's it you just want to look at both eyes to make sure they're both have the equal amount of glitter y'all i got hella creative like <laughs> so now that we did that part we're gonna take the flat angle brush and go in with um, the pink and purple right here on our bottom lid. So I'm gonna grab some of the purple now. I'll place that on my outer corner and connect it with my with my wing we created right there. Take a smaller blending brush and blend those purples together so it doesn't have a harsh line. With a tiny flat brush, 
I'm gonna take this rose gold shade back on the palette that's on the palette right here. It's a shimmer shade. We're gonna put that on our inner corner right there to brighten up the look a little bit. Now I'm putting some concealer right where the eyeshadow ends on both sides just to clean out the look. Taking my beauty blender and just blending it out. That is the end of our look. I'm gonna add some blue eyeliner. Some of this next professional blue eyeliner. So I did a half cut crease and then I added some glitter on top. Now let's get to the review. The palette comes out of this cardboard box that is holographic around and then in the back it says like the ingredients and stuff. When you open it up, it has the artwork right here which is real pretty. I like how all the palettes have different kinds of artwork. These are the shades you get. You get six mattes and three shimmers. These are your shimmers right here. This teal one, this green one, and this rose gold one. Those are the three shimmers you get in the palette. And they swatch beautifully. Look how pretty that is. Um, I'll insert a clip of the swatches right here. Okay, so you guys just saw swatches. Um, they're real pigmented. The only thing I noticed after working with them on my lid is they seem a little more vibrant on the palette than they seem on your lid. The formula they use is real buttery. The only thing is that you have to build, these colors you have to build up. But I actually kind of like that because since they are bright colors, you don't want to just use your brush and then it has too much product, you dab it on your on your lid and then it's too much and then you have to go over and um, clean it up and then all that and then you have fallout on your eye. A technique I will recommend, like I recommend you guys to do is instead of getting some of the product, um, like dabbing your brush on the product and going like swiping motions on your eyelids, I would say just um, pat it down. And like when you get on your crease, like actually dig in your crease so you could get the color in the crease. That way you don't have all like a bunch of fallout. Another thing I did was when I was done using all the colors and stuff, I used some of my concealer and I placed them right under the outer corner just to clean it up. Back to the palette. Um, You do get nine shades, like I said. So you get six mattes and three shimmers. The shades that is included in the palette, I gotta say I love because they're bright. This is the first palette I own that is bright with vibrant colors. The only thing is that they don't have no transition shade. I wish they would have added a transition shade. However, they do have a crease shade, which is this brown. It's a matte brown. Um, so they do give us that, but they didn't add um, a transition shade, which is not the end of the world because I'm pretty sure if you're a collector like me, um, you'll find a transition shade somewhere in your collection. Um, for this time, I used my peach palette and I used the shade Peaches and Cream to set my eye after my primer. So I used this light shade. Um, I put that all over my lid before I started creating the look. I also added some of that as a highlight on my brow, brow bone on top right here. Um, yeah, overall, I love this palette. Um, I think you guys should definitely get it. As a matter of fact, before I start recording, I pulled up the website so I could tell you guys like the price and all that. I got it for $21.50, but they're sold out. So they sell out real easily out of these. I remember they said they sold out like twice before. So you could put in your email and they'll they'll send you a email saying they, they um they have some in stock but they're currently sold out 
I'm pretty sure they'll restock. So yeah, if you get a chance to get your hands on this beautiful palette, go ahead and get it. I hope you guys enjoyed my review and tutorial. I will catch you on my next one. Bye.